What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Charlie and this video is gonna be a short, quick video on the review of my digital rear view mirror that I bought off Amazon. Um, I kind of used it in an unconventional way in my C5 Corvette. I thought it was kind of cool what I was gonna share with you uh, because I got a lot of questions about it whenever I'm out at car shows and events like that. So let's just get right to it. I'll let you know my thoughts on it and whether it actually works or not because uh, it's a little bit weird how I have it set up. Um, I was going for a, kind of a more like a race car look thing to it uh, since this is my track car and uh, yeah I mounted it in a kind of unconventional way and I get a lot of people ask about it so let's just look at it okay so um, so this is the actual mirror itself so as you can oh it's on cool um, so as you can tell I mounted it to the dash which is unusual because normally it mounts to the mirror itself it's got these little straps that go around the back side of it and you just hang it off your factory mirror well I put this visor that's way too low on the front windshield so it's really hard to see out of so the last thing that I wanted was something bigger hanging off the mirror so I decided to find a bracket and I custom made this mount to mount it right here in the center dash and I was really going for the way that a lot of GT3 cars and a lot of Le Mans cars have dash mounted rear view digital camera mirrors and so I thought, oh, this would be cool. This was like 80 something dollars on Amazon. I will put a link in the description below for you guys to find the exact one that I'm using and probably a few alternatives that I considered. But I actually have the, the mirrors mounted here and I mounted the camera inside the car on the back hatch, which I'll show you guys up close here in a minute. But I wanna show you my basic setup here so you can see out the back. But the actual rear view camera sits and looks out the hatch of the Corvette, which makes a nice broad image of what's behind you. So when you're out on track or anything like that, or just on the interstate, it's really easy to see when people are in your blind spots. And I actually ran a power, I hardwired the power for this thing, because you can charge it up and run it on its own battery, but I have it plugged in permanently through a 12 volt source in the car, just so that I don't ever have to worry about charging it up. It's just, it just always works. And something I don't actually use yet because it's mounted low enough to where it doesn't really work, but it also has a front camera. So if I were to put an SD card in it, you can actually see out the front of the car too. So you could record something or another as well. I've been meaning to set that up. I just, I don't know, I'll really only use it as the rear view mirror. So it does just fine for that. So for like a hundred dollars or so, basically buying the mirror itself and the bracket and everything like that, I'm really happy with it. It's really cool. It's, it always gets people asking what it is because it's mounted on the dash. I've got the radio, which is a touch screen you know, doubled in unit here, but all people are always asking what that second screen is, and it's really cool to be like, oh, that's my rear view camera uh, as a mirror, and it's inside the back hatch. So, so I wanna take the camera real quick and show you guys up close kind of what I have mounted here. Um, if you have any more questions about this, definitely leave them in the comments below. You could do this to any car. Um, I am obviously did this to my C5 Corvette, so I have a lot of knowledge of how I mounted it here. Um, but definitely feel free to take inspiration from this to maybe add this into your car, whatever it is. Um, this is really handy for track day cars and just sports cars in general. I think it makes it, I don't know, it just makes it more fun. That's what the whole point of these cars are, is just fun anyways. And so this is just kind of an extra element of fun to it as well. So let's take a closer look at the camera and the actual mounting of the mirror. Cool, so let's take a closer look. Obviously one thing that helps uh, to be able to show things in this car is to be able to take off the steering wheel. So I got this out of the way. And let's take a look at the mirror itself, kind of up close. As you can see, it's kind of mounted right above the air vent. Um, it's in a really good spot. When you're driving, you just glance right over. It's right in your line of sight, so it's really easy to check and keep an eye on. And you can kind of see things really clearly out of your peripheral vision as well. As you can see, there's just the garage door behind it so I don't know how clear it's gonna come through on camera but it's really quite clear for how cheap it was and I have the power and the backup camera plugged into the top I tried to route the wires as best I could you know around the underside and through the actual dash panel but it's, it's not too bad I don't notice it very much um, and not a lot of people say anything about it so that's cool and then like I said I actually have the back camera mounted to the back hatch of the glass so it's looking out the back just like this. Um, see that here? And then I have the wire run along the halo of the car, which is that you know roll bar type body part. And it runs down the back, down the side, through all the center console, and then up to the mirror itself. 
So you can actually see the back of the camera. I have this bracket made, I painted it red, and then these are the things that actually normally would mount around a normal mirror, but I cut them short so that they just mount to this little bracket thing that I have stuck on the dash. And then on this side over here, that's where the actual camera is that faces forward. So as you can see, you can swipe through here, and it's got the front view camera and the back camera, or just the front camera or just the back camera, which is what I leave it on most of the time. And the camera is actually on this side right there. There's a lot of settings on this that I don't mess with. I think you can record audio there. You can take a screenshot. I think that's what actually records with. Um, you can change the settings. You can lock something. You can set the date and time. And it tells you how much battery it is, but you can see I've got to plug in the power so it stays on all the time. And it says this is 2K. I don't know how real that is, but it looks good enough for me to use on the street and on the track, so I'm happy with it. All in all, I think for like an $80 mod, it turned out really cool. I like having the clean look without the actual normal mirror up here. Um, and like I said, uh, it's kind of really battleship mode in here with this visor on the glass. It's really hard to see out of, so the last thing I want is something else hanging from the glass. It kind of clears up my front view, which I like a lot. And it kind of turned out cool. It always gets a lot of cool car people asking about it, and that's obviously why we do this, just to hang out and talk with people, right? Cool, so that about wraps it up. So like I said, if you got any questions about it, leave them in the comments below. Like and share and all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the next video. See you.